Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is part three of the video series, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Let's start off with this verse here, brother. This is in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Uh, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Hmm. First of all, it says study. So, in other words, if they want to get this right, they're going to have to put some effort in and study. Okay? And then it says rightly divide. What do you think it means by divide, rightly divide it? Well, rightly divide, uh, if it's saying rightly divide, then you could um, not rightly divide the word of truth. Obviously, that is a potential problem. That's why it's saying we must make sure we rightly divide, because you could very easily wrongly divide and, and uh, get this wrong. And sometimes I think that they've, uh, they've done it uh, accidentally. It's an innocent mistake. Uh, other times it could be a purposeful deceptions. Yeah. Uh, but some of the things that you can very easily mix up is, uh, you know, these various subjects and words like uh, uh, the law and grace, uh, the judgment seat of Christ, or the judge, uh, the great white throne judgment, uh, the uh, the rapture, the second coming. These are all different things, and if you don't uh, understand their actual definitions and the uh, uh, you you mix them up, you can come to t terribly wrong conclusions. I mean, there's a difference between the kingdom of God, which is a spiritual kingdom, and the kingdom of heaven, which is a a, a physical kingdom of, of the earth. Uh, so. You, you've got to really divide it and apply these things uh, correctly. Yeah, um, one of the biggest errors I see out there um, on YouTube and, and with the street preaching here in Vegas and and, and uh, in all the YouTube videos I see most of them is is the word repent. Um, what does the word repent mean when it pertains to salvation? Does it mean to turn from all of your sin? Does it mean to forsake all your sins? Or does it mean to have a change of mind, a change of thinking about the only way that I'm going to be saved, which is by putting my faith in Jesus Christ and what He did on that cross to save me. Mm -hmm. And by trusting in that alone, I'm saved. Yeah. It's finished. It's done. If, if I say repent means to turn from all of my sins, now I have a works salvation where my salvation is based on my performance and not on, on, on Jesus' performance on the cross. I mean, that's so, so, that's so clear and obvious. Uh, how could they possibly make the mistake uh, when, on one hand, it says we're saved by the grace of God through our faith in Jesus, not by any works. And then they say, repent uh, of your sins. That is obviously a work that you were they're placing on you as a requirement. So don't they see that there's a... Uh, obvious contradiction there, and, and the Bible speaks about it. You know, in Titus chapter three, verse five, um, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us. Um, it, it's 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 past tense. He saved us. It, it was done mm -hmm. um, two thousand years ago there at the cross. Um, and, and I know there's another scripture that um, these street preachers should really look at. And uh, in, in Galatians chapter 1, um, verses 8 through 9, um, uh, God doesn't care who you are. Uh, the Bible says, if we are an angel, preach any other gospel. Let him be a, a, a curse. Um, so uh, if you're out there um, preaching um, anything other than salvation is by grace through faith uh, alone and not of your works, if you're out there preaching any other gospel, other than Jesus dying for our sins and rising from the dead, and that, that He is God Almighty, and, and, and your faith alone saves you uh, in Him and, and the work that He has done. If you're preaching anything else, you are preaching um, another gospel. And, and, you, and you're, you're under that curse. And, and, and they're telling people they need to repent of all their sins when they're the one ones that need to repent and, and, and uh, um uh, believe that that it is finished. Mm -hmm. It's paid in full um, um, by uh, what Jesus did on the cross, and their simple faith in that. So they're out there telling others that they need to repent. They're the ones um, that truly 
uh, need to uh, um, change their mind and, and change their thinking about the only way they're going to be saved is not uh, by them turning from their sins, but by them putting their faith in Jesus and, and trusting in uh, what He did on that cross for their salvation. Yes. So uh, they are they are cursed uh, from God. There's a curse on them from God, and as far as I'm concerned, then then they're cursed in my eyes as far as my association. I cannot be part of uh, this kind of uh, false teaching. Galatians 5.4 You who are trying to be justified by law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen from grace. Um, they have set aside the grace of God. They have frustrated the grace of God. They have nullified the grace of God. And they don't have the grace of God because they don't trust that 2,000 years ago it was finished. And that alone saves them. I think part of, them part, of their, their part of the problem with these people is that they don't have the basic fundamentals of uh, studying the Bible. Uh, just the simplest things that you need to know coming into studying the Bible. Like the, uh, the first thing we have to keep in mind is what is the intention of the author? So you need to know who wrote this particular book here. Which one you got, got there? Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Who wrote that? Um, Paul. So, so you, you should start off by knowing who wrote it. Uh, uh, what is the intention? of the author. What's the main point of that particular uh, letter? Uh, uh, and then you need to look at uh, other uh, questions about it, like uh, like you're like an investigative reporter. Okay, Not only who wrote it, but who are they talking to? Uh, what's the main thing, the point they're trying to make? When was it written? When was it s uh, spoken? Uh, where was it? Uh, why? All these things are uh, have to be uh, applied to the verses so that you can get the correct understanding of it. Uh, and then, of course, context is critically important. Uh, there's a saying that a text, which is, let's say, a verse, a text taken out of context could be a pretext. Now, a pretext is uh, uh, what some people are actually using it as a pretext. They, they purposely uh, in advance are planning a deception. So they, they want to deceive people, so they take a verse out of the context uh, and uh, by itself it seems to have a particular meaning but if you look at in the context of all the verses around it uh, you, you can understand the meaning is totally different than, if, than when it was taken out of context. Uh, a good example is uh, the favorite verse of the, uh, the unsaved people. Uh, they all know this verse. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Because they don't want anyone judging them, so they, they use that verse to try to say that you're never supposed to judge. But if you look at that verse in the context of all the verses around it, you can see the subject matter is not saying, don't judge, it's saying, don't judge hypocritically. So it's really about hypocrisy. It's not. It's not a uh, uh, command to not judge. Uh, yeah, and you got to rightly divide the word of truth because there's so much double talk that you hear on YouTube, you hear out there from the street preachers. Here, I'll give you an example of double talk. Okay, this is from Mormon theology. You're saved by grace after all that you can do. Now, what's what's the difference between that and telling people you got to forsake all of your sin? You have to do all that you can do and trust Christ as your Savior. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between what I just said, which is Mormon theology, for by grace are you saved after all you can do, and telling people you have to turn from all of your sin and trust Christ as your Savior? Mm -hmm. The moment you add uh, one work, any work unto that gospel, uh, unto the cross, what you are saying is what Jesus did on the cross wasn't enough to save you. It's very true. Uh, there's uh, other fundamental uh, concepts in studying the Bible, and we'll get into that in the next video.